Is your Uconnect software doing a boot loop flashing from this black screen right here? Wait two to five minutes to this white screen right here that says please insert update USB and you can't get it off of the boot loop. Well, watch this video and I sure hope that it helps you because this is how I got mine fixed. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video and welcome to my office. Yes, today we are going over how to get your infotainment center in your Jeep, Dodge, Chrysler, Ram automobile out of a boot loop. So after a couple days of very hard frustration taking it to a dealer and being told I needed a head unit, so a whole new infotainment center, essentially. I was able to fix my infotainment center and get it out of a boot loop. So let's go over what a boot loop is really fast. And then I will jump into how I was able to fix mine. And hopefully, I pray hopefully, that this helps most of you guys out. Because I understand your frustration. I'm not going to get into my story of how I was in there or how I got into a boot loop, let's just say that, yeah, don't trust your dealer. Let's just say that. So I'm not even going to mention the dealer's name because I don't want to even do any kind of advertisement for him in a negative way. But I will never go there again. I will never take my truck there, and I will never purchase from them again after the customer service that I was shown. So... Let's jump into it. Don't trust your dealer. All right, guys. Now you're probably here because you're experiencing a boot loop in your infotainment center. So what a boot loop is, is when you're downloading your update in your infotainment center, at some point during that update, generally during the air card uh, update process, it freezes. It freezes and it tells you to remove your USB for it to reset. The problem is, is when you pull out your USB, it doesn't reset. It goes into a boot loop. I'll try to find some pictures online because I wasn't filming when my truck was doing it. It was literally doing it two days ago. It's Sunday, it started Friday. I was able to fix it by Saturday. Hopefully this helps you guys fix yours a hell of a lot faster and eliminates a lot of your frustration because I was frustrated trust me so the boot loop essentially my truck mine started at unit 11 now unit 11 was at one percent downloaded and the full software update was downloaded to 67 percent and it was on the air card uh unit and that's where mine stopped so and then goes in you know you pull out your usb card and it goes into the boot loop the boot loop is essentially a black screen that says wait two to five minutes in white writing or white text and it says it in a few different languages i can't remember like i said i'll find a picture and we'll put it there or there or here or over there somewhere i'm not a professional youtuber so i'm probably pointing the wrong direction but it'll be somewhere um, and so black screen, white writing, wait two to five minutes, and then it'll flip to a white screen with black writing that says, please insert a USB update, flash drive, something along those lines. And it does that over and over and over. It doesn't matter if you shut off your car, your truck, your SUV, the infotainment center keeps doing that. So um, I will show you how to shut it off on my truck. Um, as far as where the fuse is for your infotainment center. So if it happens to be late at night when you're watching this and you don't want that loop running overnight in your car, you can go pull your fuse until tomorrow when you're able to hopefully get this fixed or until your USB stick gets here. So let's jump into it. Okay guys, first and foremost, you need the right USB flash drive. 
So I tried a few of them. Like I'm, trust me, when I say that I was frustrated, I feel you guys' pain. Like I, <laughs> I was there. So this one did not work. It's not big enough. It's only four gigabytes. Sorry, it's not zooming in, but you need at least a 16 gigabyte one. So that one didn't work. There's brands that you cannot use. I will put that on the screen. I screenshotted it somewhere. It's over there. But uh, SanDisk is one of them. So this one didn't work. This is a SanDisk. SanDisk, DNY, and Mac do not work for these updates. This is the one that I got. So let's get on Amazon and I'll show you how much it was and which one it is. Sorry, I'm not doing a screen share, so you'll just have to deal with my computer. But this is the one I got. As you can see, I purchased it on June 16th. Um, I've tried to do the update a couple of times, um, but these are the ones I got. So they're $8.99 for a pack of two. It's a 32 gigabyte off of Amazon. And there it is right there in person. Now that you have a flash drive that will work, you need to format it. I believe this is what allowed it to take into my truck, possibly. We did some other things with my truck. I tried disconnecting battery cables, leaving them disconnected uh, to reset it. Um, I did end up finding the fuse for the infotainment center. I pulled the fuse and so the fuse was out while I was formatting this USB uh, flash drive. And so I don't know if it was the formatting that did it, probably, or if it was me resetting uh, the infotainment center, which it didn't really reset the infotainment center. I disconnected, like I said, the battery cables when I put them back on infotainment center was still doing the boot loop. I pulled the fuse, still doing the boot loop when I plugged it back in, but I did have the fuse out. I pulled the fuse a few times as I was getting this formatted. So first and foremost, now that you have the right USB flash drive, and I read another one works too. There's one called Kingston, the Kingston brand 16 gigabyte. The guy had success with that one, but I believe it's just formatting it is the biggest issue. And so let me show you how to format this. So hopefully your vehicle will take the update. So you're gonna take it. Obviously you're going to plug it in if we can get it the right direction into your computer. It's gonna pull up on your computer. Boom, there it is. Now that it's pulled up on your computer you can open it and so we'll go ahead and open it and as you can see I have all the files in here that I need because this USB is going to stay in my truck so I have all the files for the 18.45 update which is the newest one as of right now which is the beginning of October 2020 18.45 is your newest update <clears throat> But I'll show you how to get those off of the Uconnect website. First, you're going to come down here to the flash drive, flash disk. You're going to right click on that. It'll pull up your little display here. You're going to left click on where it says format. Now this is what I believe was the essential part. So there's nothing you can do with the capacity. The flash drive is as big as it is. The file system needs to be on this FAT32 default. So click FAT32 default. The allocation size needs to be on default allocation size. Once you got those two done, come down here, make sure that this quick format is clicked. Once the cl quick format's clicked, hit start. Now this is going to format your flash drive. Once you click start, I'm not going to because I have the 
uh, software update on here that works and so I don't want to mess with it. Once you click start it takes a couple minutes and then after a couple minutes it will tell you that it has been formatted. So a little message will pop up. Once it's been formatted don't just yank it out of your computer. Come over here right click again on your flash drive go up to eject left click on eject and as you can see down here safe to remove hardware. Now you can remove your flash drive from your computer. So now we have the flash drive formatted and ready for the update. So let's go find the update. Now my computer already knows where the update is, but essentially this is Bing's homepage, Google, you can use Bing, Google, whatever, and type in just type, start typing in Uconnect software update. So that's where we're gonna go. Click on that. That brings you to here, which this is the website. If you wanna type in the website, here it is, driveconnect.com forward slash support forward slash software update. But anyways, I just click the top and it brings you right to here. You've got, you've come to the right place. Please enter your 17 digit vehicle identification number essentially so let's go ahead and enter that we got the VIN entered in here let's check for updates and there you go your 2014 equipped with the system qualifies for the following software updates so then you just click get started you click view available updates and then you click download update and so once you click download updates it's going to start downloading onto your computer once it's downloaded i already have it downloaded so go to documents go to downloads down here at the bottom you can see you connect double click on you connect and boom there's your files okay so now we got it downloaded so let's go ahead we'll enter we'll 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 insert the USB stick. Back into the computer. Now you don't need to open it right here. You can just click X. But as you can see, it brought up your USB drive here on the bottom left. Now all you're going to do is drag and drop these. Um, you can drag them as a group. I dragged them one at a time just because no, no reason really but just click hold drag and see you can drop it right there on that flash drive i already have them on my flash drive as you can see and then it added this last one so don't worry about this last one on mine that's something the truck added after the install so all you're worried about are these top five you want these top five files on your flash drive once you do that once you have them on your flash drive left click go to eject and eject it and then remove it 